in Columbia, Maryland. McDonough has pulled off a few upsets to get here tonight. Big win in the semifinals over Calvert Hall, 9-7. St. John's getting by Gonzaga, 12-7. Title game coming up here tonight. Excited to bring it to you. Thanks for being with us, everyone. Mike Corey alongside Bob Schreiber and Quint Kesnick in a moment. Big story here, McDonough uh, surprising a lot of people here in the championship game, Bob. Upset their way into this championship game, winning the quarterfinal matchup in overtime against Seton Hall Prep, and then upsetting Calvert Hall in the semis. We'll start with uh, McDonough's number 11. This is just a rising sophomore. Finished his freshman year playing midfield for McDonough Eagles. He's had a great tournament. Ben Furley, again, just a freshman. But the key to McDonough's success starts right here with senior to be Lucas Bear. That's him scoring the overtime winner against Seton Hall Prep. This is the same goal from a different angle. He scored four goals in the semifinal game. All right, so McDonough in the championship game tonight. How about St. John's? I think many might have expected them to be in this title game, and here they are. Well, we've had a bunch of college coaches, well over 150 of them here today, and the bulk of them seem to think that St. John's is unquestionably the best team in the tournament. And there's another rising sophomore, Ryan Dunkel, scoring that beautiful goal dodging, and now watch him effectively off ball, making a beautiful cut. Rutgers, he's a 2022, as you said, Checo, Lehigh, and then Desio, number 23, tall, athletic. He's a verbal to Jacksonville. Shot on the way, saved by Wilson, but the rebound goes in for St. John's and Ryan Dunkel, and there he is early already in this one, one nothing. Well, what I liked about that entire play is watch this shot. He does not take his angle away. Unfortunately, Wilson makes a nice save, but could not corral that rebound. And there's Dunkel on the doorstep for an easy finish. Dunkel does a nice job crashing the boards, beating his defender to the inside. Court violation, once you've got the ball, after that 20 second clearing is up, if you bring it back this way, what a shot. Wow. It's, if you bring it back across, it's a backcourt. St. John's takes advantage. Gavin Kelly scores it, and the first two of the game by St. John's, they lead it with 13.38 to play first half. Wants, folks. Ivy League, Big Ten, ACC, you name it. A.J. Marsh is a future star. Yeah, that's another one, folks, that'll be uh, verbally committed somewhere very soon. 21 for McDonough and White. Seven shots so far here. No goals for McDonough. Now in front, they get it. First of the night, Jack Raley puts it in. Here's Hugh Brown controlling the ball a little bit, throws that ball through the defense. He gets Checo snoozing a little bit there. Look, Checo didn't see that beautiful finish by Raley. Series at the STX National High School Lacrosse Showcase. Bland Air Regional Park in Columbia, Maryland. It's a two to one game here in the championship. The ninth year of the event. Bob, how about some of the past champions? Some of the past, look at the diversity. Georgetown Prep from right down the street. Deerfield, Maine, Taft, Connecticut, Chaminade, New York, Archbishop Spalding and McDonough here in Maryland. This event is drawn high school lacrosse teams from 19 states in the District of Columbia since its inception. Game in the cage. Face-offs have been very important, and McDonough's won most of them, and then they just banged that one by Furley, who we talked about at the outset, to make it two to two. And the other significant thing that on these face-offs that you'll see McDonough do, we call this double polling for you people who aren't too familiar with face-offs, and they've been effective with it. There's Furley, just a rising sophomore with a beautiful shot. Face-offs are four to nothing in the favor of McDonough, and that along with timely shooting and, and the play of the defense and goaltender Wilson has kept McDonough. Again. Now more, and he lost it. Here comes St. John's. Back with it is Thomas Desio. Short clock, 15 seconds, got to go to the cage. Roa for Garza, back to Roa. Spins back, fires away, high over the top, under five seconds left. It's put back in quickly by Gavin Kelly, and the shot here by Paul Garza, just to the right, and we have reached halftime. How about that? Momentum with McDonough right now as the scoreboard reads 2-2 here in the championship game. 
First goal of the game for them, and then Gavin Kelly got the second, 2-0 St. John's. Then finally, McDonough got on the scoreboard. It was Jack Raley, and then another rising sophomore, and Ben Furley here able to tie it up. Both of their two goals in the final three minutes and 20 seconds. We've got a game here tonight. Championship from Columbia, Maryland. Start of the second half is after this. Gonna Number 19, Jackie Weller for St. John's in black. Second half is underway. Weller wins it. Here he goes. And gets it over now to Ryan Dunkel. Now he feeds it to back Haley, and he scores. And just like that, St. John's 14 seconds into the second half. They now lead it 3-2. to two. With their first faceoff win of the day, Weller pops this thing forward, nice plays, coming down, he just gets the ball to the point man, and Dunkel makes a phenomenal decision getting that ball through the defender down there to Haley, he puts it low and away for a big goal for St. John's, more than anything because they finally won a faceoff. McDonough trying to keep this a one goal game. St. John's led two nothing, it was tied up at two, and then St. John's scored 14 seconds into the second half to lead it as they do now, three to two. Kelly on a shorty. Gavin Kelly got it. Tough defensively. They got a couple exceptional attackmen. Gavin Kelly has a short stick defensive midi covering him, not one of these monster defenders for McDonough. And he takes advantage of it, gets inside his man. Watch this, just a little swing from one side of the field to the other. And here's Kelly, watch, he'll go up the field and get underneath his man. He set that dodge up magnificently. I'm Beautiful play. Yeah, I'm not sure whose idea it is, but to put a short... Right, keep it up, stay on their hand. And on the picks, we'll communicate it through, and we'll slide when we have to, but keep it going, keep it going. Let's make sure we're clearing it. We have 20 seconds, it's a long time. And if we can, let's get that other third close guy out, right? And if we're that settled, we'll just get him out so we don't just send him to Oakland and he's kind of scared of stretching. Four, now we switch back. Dunkel, beautiful feed. Again. And there's uh, Wilson wow. with another phenomenal save. Look out. Then it gets in front. Oh, Wilson again. How does he do it? It was a slow start. Everybody kind of feeling each other out. Then yeah. the middle part's been pretty hot and aggressive. McDonough pressing out now on defense, knowing they need to create turnovers. And JL Dooley scores it for St. John's. McDonough's forced to press out. Just a couple minutes left in this game. Look at this save about to happen here. There's one, it hits the defenders, but watch this. Throws the ball away, wide open, Haley right in front of the goal, and Wilson steals that thing. And then here's this goal. Johnny, uh, excuse me, Malachi Jones forced to try to get the ball on the ground. He's trying anything he can do to get it on the ground. Going to matter here with just 10.3 remaining. What an effort, though, by them this week. Two big upset victories over Seton Hall Prep. And Calvert Hall, but not tonight. St. John swims it. Five to two, the final. The champions here in 2021 of the SDX National High School Lacrosse Showcase. The big tasty coming at you, Q. Fiox Steller in goal tonight. Goal scored by Ryan Dunkel and Gavin Kelly to get things started. And it was tied up. 2-2, two, two. then Mac Haley, Gavin Kelly, and J.L. Dooley, and it's a 5-2 to win. Let's go down to Q. You can tell by the reception from his teammates that they love Caleb Fiag. Two goals up on the scoreboard. You made almost 10 saves. Uh, what was it like? What, what worked well for you, for, for you tonight? You know, we're all tired, but, I mean, um, what our captain, Riley Figueres, said, just got to push through it, you know. Um, even though we let, um, won a championship last time, I mean, it's also great to win another championship. I mean, that's what we all strive for at St. John's. I mean, that's what St. John's is all about, a winning culture. So that's what we wanted to continue here tonight. You had an 11-1 spring season. You have that, this championship right now. How do you best explain what, what the school's been able to do in terms of uh, becoming a national power? You know, it's unique. I mean, lacrosse wasn't big at St. John's for uh, many years, but um, Coach Speaks came in, uh, Coach Griff, our uh, former athletic director, and our athletic director now, he um, came in, Coach Speaks sat down, and he told them the vision of the program. And, you know, he's executing it. I mean, he's one of the best coaches in the DMV in the country. And I'm happy I came to St. John's because you can tell we win championships and 
He's the best coach, hands down. Caleb, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of, of your work. I think the fans at home want to know, though, your nickname, Big Tasty. Where'd it come from? No, um, TV show called The Goldbergs, you know, so I like the name, so I just took it, you know, so I like it. Take it and run with it. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank great you. job. How great is that? Thanks, Q, and thanks, Caleb. And he was talking about they won the WCAC title 11 to 10, June 11th over Georgetown Prep, and they win this here tonight in the championship. About Pretty 14 special team. days later, yeah. they won another title. And as we said earlier, they were so close last year, and they came back with a purpose this summer. And what a great way to for these guys to go into their summer vacation. No doubt about it. Congratulations to St. John's. 5-2 winners in the 2021 Champions of the SDX.